All right, so we're gonna do a little processing of some watch bands. This stuff is magnetic, so I'll probably run that through the solver cell. I was a little disappointed. This is the non-magnetic. I gotta go through this. I, you know, like when I first started, I guess I had gold fever and thought, man, you know, we're gonna recover a lot of gold with this stuff, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm doing it to go for the gold and have fun, but the cost benefit analysis is not looking good on this. So this is gonna take about three gram, uh, three milliliters of nitric acid per gram. There's about a hundred grams. So we're just gonna go through this real slow. And uh, like I said, we're gonna cut up that stuff a little better. We're gonna dissolve it with some nitric and we'll get back with it. So we've got our scrap here. Um, we're going to add a little nitric to it. It's uh, close to 50 mil starting off. Probably add just a little. Get it going. It's in 200 milliliters of distilled water. And uh, we're going to cook this down. I'm going to go do some yard work and come back to it. Sorry, I got gloves on. I'm trying to do it. I don't have the tripod set up, so just bear with me. Just a little update here. Leaf blower going in the background. Guess I need to put some pants on and go do some yard work. Uh, we have the solution turning green because of the copper. Uh, and uh, you can see a slight reaction. Uh, we're going to cover that. And look, you already can see gold foils floating on top here. If you can see that, I, I can't through the video, but I can see it with the naked eye. So it's uh, going pretty well. I think I'm gonna attack the other magnetic stuff with hydrochloric acid, I don't know. I don't feel like messing with the sulfuric acid cell. I might even put it in a nitric just to get it over with. But that's what we have. So there's that, there's at it. So we have let this cook for a while. I'm gonna turn it off and let it cool down, filter. Uh, and then we'll add some more. You can see this was the non-magnetic and this is the magnetic. Um, and I forgot to add some of those gold parts, gold filled parts right there. Damn it, man. So we're getting there. So we're still going at it. Uh, we have started to get some ground on dissolving the foils, excuse me, the gold-plated watch bands. Um, it looks like it's going to need a um, decant and a refresh. I have um, vacuumed off or run some through my vacuum filter over here and I have an orange deposit. I'm hoping that's rust. We'll put it in the papers and recover whatever values are in it later. But that's where we stand so far. This has been going for about four hours, maybe five hours. And um, you can see some of the foils here are starting to uh, show. But it's, uh, it looks like we're maybe halfway there. And I, um, I need to get started on the Saturday night silver bar pour. So here you go. <laughs> So we're vacuuming out some of the oil to refresh, to give me some room. We've got a little bit of reaction still going on in there, but I kind of want to speed this up. So I'm going to drain off a little bit more of it. We're going to add some nitric and we're going to knock this out. So I made some aqua regia to dissolve these foils. We'll come back in a little bit and address it but we're gonna go after those foils. So I'm vacuuming, filtering the foils. Uh, this batch was particularly um, troublesome. And uh, man, everything went wrong today. From raking the leaves to working around the house, painting them. Just uh, I wanna call it quits today and try and drop that little bit and see what we have. I apologize, I had lost my phone also running around the house trying to find it. So there's some missing pieces, the boil. I boiled it. So it's been filtered twice, 
clean the filter up. We're going to dilute it a little more and put some iron sulfate in. Oh my God, my wife called me at the same time I'm trying to videotape this. We had a soccer game going on. So we're getting ready to drop this. I'm not using the tripod, we're doing this manually. Here's some iron sulfate, probably a little bit too much, but. Oh man, look at that, nice color. Man, that looks good. A Little bit stuck to the spoon, but we're gonna heat that up and see what we get. Okay, you can see that's dropped pretty nice. Big chunks like we like it. Um, uh, Going to put that into the temporary stock pot. We're going to clean it up. I got to go a uh, date tonight, so uh, I got to get this under control. So, not bad. There's still some more in the filters and a little foils left over. Like I said, I got to finish this project up and button it up. We're going to clean that up, give it a couple of washes, and put it in with the uh, pinless CPUs and stuff I recovered from my. Um, AP solution gone sideways. Peekaboo. So we're we're getting there. Um, might have enough for a little one gram button one day. I want to finish up my pens, and uh, I had a little bit of foil left over, so I guess next weekend I'll attack that, but. We're getting there. I uh, washed it and I'm just keeping it in this uh, dilute, excuse me, distilled water for right now. We'll uh, boil it with hydrochloric acid again and um, give it an ammonia wash. But it, uh, it doesn't look bad. I really like that ferrous sulfate. It drops so nicely. It's looking good. It's looking really, really good, man. That ferrous sulfate drops stuff out so nice. These bars will be for the subscriber giveaways. Stay tuned.